Award-winning writer, producer, and actress joins us now. Please welcome Mindy Kaling. Hi, Mindy. Mindy, so great to see you. You know, it's it's funny because uh, obviously coming off of a, a, a scene there from The Office, and it was a huge hit um, to yet another generation of streaming. We're excited to have it back on Peacock. But it really pushed like the envelope by today's standards. Do you think you can do a show like The Office today? No, and it it kind of bums me out. I will say this because you know, Mari, you're on an amazing show, Saved by the Bell, also on Peacock. And thank you. I think <laughs> that what I love about these times is there's so much more representation for for people on shows. Like we're seeing people who mm -hmm. didn't necessarily look the way growing up. But one of the downsides I think now is that there's more fear about content. Yes. You know, and I think one of the reasons people like The Office was because, like, it didn't, like, it, people, it, it didn't, like, worry that people were going to be offended. Right. It just kind of was like, you know, people can handle it. And I think people really like to watch shows that, don't like you know treat them like they can't handle things it was kind of fearless that way and we love how close the cast is is it true that bj novak is your kids godparents and how's he doing yeah he's doing great he's i'm really he is a he's a tv show on fx he has a movie that he directed and starred in no i mean how is he as the as the godparent is he fulfilling his Ooh, duties huh. Yeah, sorry, I think you meant professionally. I'm like, he's killing it. <laughs> he's been very busy, but he's he's great. He was like, you know, my daughter's three. And he reads story. He's a children's author, so he's killing it reading stories to her. Yeah, my son is eight months old. So we'll, we'll see how he is with the little one, but I he's been a great. That. And speaking of daughters, how is my girl Kit doing with her younger brother, Spencer? She's resisting a lot of discipline these days. But she girl. loves her younger brother. You know, she's a handful, but she's she's really she's a lot of fun. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. She's got to take the name properly, right, Mario? Yeah. It's going to be Kit. She needs to be a little bit of a rascal with a heart of gold. That's oh wow, the Kit. I didn't even just dawn <laughs> on me right there. Um, did you know Mariah Carey is a huge fan of yours? She's been very vocal about it's it, and uh, she loves your Netflix series Never Have I Ever. I mean, when you hear like cool people, look at she's fangirling right there. <laughs> It, it makes it fun, right? Yeah, I'm a huge Mariah Carey fan. The emancipation of Mimi got through so many breakups. So, like, I, I absolutely love her. So, to me, if she ever wanted to be on the show, man, we would would be so excited. I'm not sure how it would make sense for Mariah Carey to be in a show about teenagers in the Valley, but, like, whatever. We'd make we it can make figure sense. that out to get Mariah on there. What can we expect for season two of Never Have I Ever? Well, I think we have some really good surprises. I'm always the person blowing surprises, so I'm going to really try not to here. We have Common is going to be on the show this season as a love interest for the, the mom character, Nalani. He's so funny, so handsome. So that's going to be on Netflix in July, so we're excited. Oh, congrats on that. And, uh, Mindy, I can always appreciate and love me a good fitness drink, so please tell me about your partnership with Propel Fitness Water. Oh, it's right there. Chug so, that. I've been like literally just drinking it because this is my favorite flavor. Yeah, I'm just so excited to partner with Propel. It's like I was using it before I partnered with them. And then they're like, hey, do you want to do commercials for us? And I was like, uh, why not? So I've been drinking it all through the pandemic when I was pregnant. Gets me zinc, vitamin C, electrolytes. So it's just been great. And I also liked it because I don't feel like I look like someone who when people are like, who should advertise fitness water? But I exercise and I'm just like, a normal and American woman Good who has, you. like, fitness goals. Um, you, you've always got so much going on, Mindy. A lot of people, of course, excited about Legally Blonde 3. This summer is going to mark 20 years since the first film came out. Why is it the right time right now, you think, to make the movie? Well, I think Elle Woods is such an iconic character, and I think we saw her, what she was like when she was 21 years old. And now that it's been... 20 years i'm so curious what that character is like as a woman in her 40s like is she a mom like does that kind of personality stand up now and the script that we wrote has like so many parts really diverse characters and i just think it's super funny and, I, and she's just she's such a role model and like ellen reese are both so they're such fashion icons i just saw reese at the oscars and she looked incredible so you know bringing back that specific l woods pink like it's i mean as a pink lover myself i i can't wait to see reese rock that color that's awesome and i believe uh you like me are a child of immigrants too what are your parents and family what do they what do they make of all this mindy you know what's been so interesting, Mario, if you don't even have this, but my parents, you know, I'm a child of Asian immigrants, and we had this mentality of just, like, work hard, yep. don't draw attention to yourself, yep. follow the rules, 
you know, you don't want to get in trouble. And what I think is so nice about seeing young um, minority people online is like, there's a kind of like fearlessness with them. Like they're activists, they stand up for what's right. They don't worry about making a stir. And there's been great movements have come from it. They've been great art. Like I even look at your show. My friend Tracy Wickfield is the you know creator of the new Saved by the Bell, and like the representation on that show. But the fact that it's so funny too is just awesome. And so I I'm in sight. I just think there's like so much so much great stuff going on. And um, yeah, I used to not talk about being the child of immigrants as much. And now I feel like I can say it proudly. Yeah, oh, that. that's awesome. You guys are paving Very the way. Proud. Awesome. Great talking to you, Mindy. We love you, Mindy. Thank you so much. Congrats on everything. And listen, you can watch season two of Netflix's Never Have I Ever in July.